Hey guys, Four here with another guide, this time for Orange Jungle. This one has been pretty highly requested lately, mainly because I put it in Z tier on my recent off-meta jungle tier list. The theory is pretty simple. Orn can buy items without being in shop, and this means Orn can always be affecting the map through jungle since he never needs to base. If someone can check off all the boxes needed to jungle while having this increase in tempo from passive, it's for sure going to be a broken pick. With that in mind, let's go over the basic elements and see if Orn can perform all of them. First up is the clear. Getting increased tempo or whatever doesn't mean anything if Orn is clearing slower than everyone else. Luckily, Orn does have some monster clearing tools in his arsenal. His W deals percent max health damage twice, both having monster caps. Even with the cap though, his W can deal significant damage to camps on every cast. He also has AoE tools on all three of his basic abilities, so the multi-target camps aren't an issue. There are some optimizations that exist, such as making sure to hit both damage instances of E, but the clear is pretty healthy and extremely easy to execute. All of this sounds too good to be true, so there must be some kind of downside, right? Surely his clear is still fairly slow compared to the meta junglers. He's a tank with no sustain after all, it can't be that great. Just kidding, he finishes before 3.30 easily. In fact, not only does he finish before scuttle spawns, but he actually finishes with enough time that he can show up to scuttle spawn with a built item. The clear is fairly straightforward, but we'll go over it anyway. You can start on either buff, doesn't matter. Take W level 1 and stand behind the camp so that your first knockback will knock the camp in the direction you want to kite. If you want to go for the preferred 6 camp clear, take Q on level 2. Once you've cleared 3 camps and have level 3, make sure you Q the camp as you're approaching it so the pillar shows up in the middle of the camp, which will allow your E to hit everything for both procs of damage. When you're done with all 6 camps, shop for your items that will counter what the enemy team comp has and prepare for scuttle. Item breakpoints are absolutely massive, and showing up to scuttle spawn after full clearing with an item is borderline breaking the law. Imagine you're an average jungler, and you've just cleared your camps and are walking to scuttle to take your prize. You walk over to scuttle, only to be greeted by an Orn with a ruby crystal and a cloth armor, and now you just have to give it up. Next are the ganks. Orn ganks aren't amazing, but they aren't bad either. He has slows, knockups, and knockbacks before level 6, but not all of these are easy to land. Your Q slow is fairly short range, so you need a good angle to get one off. Going for the E knockup on your Q pillar or a wall can be good, but it's not difficult for the enemy to position in a way that you can't. Same thing goes for your W, which you'll have to be right on top of the enemy to pull it off. However, getting any of these to go correctly will allow you to get all of them going correctly, so the ganks are still good enough. After level 6, ganks are even better because of the long range slows and knockups you can kickstart the gank with. You also provide tons of damage to any ganks you go for, meaning there will always be a kill threat. Skirmishing and invades are usually not a problem, as Orn has some great base damage and a healthy clear that will allow for him to fight off most enemy junglers. Early game, you'll also be ahead on items and tempo, so invading can be super difficult for enemies who don't know if they have the raw stats to contest anything. All of this so far seems to point towards Orn being strong early, which he is, but remember that Orn's main strength is as a scaling teamfighter. He provides lots of peeling tools for his carries as well as ornaments for mythic items as the game goes later and later. Orange Jungle is pretty simple to play, so that's almost everything for basic game plan, and now we can move on to runes and items. For runes, you'll go Unsealed Spellbook as your keystone. I then usually take Magical Footwear, Futures Market, and Cosmic Insight with Conditioning and Unflinching for secondaries. Magical Footwear is just for the free economy, and Futures Market is extremely useful on Orn since he can spike his mythic items smack in the middle of the map as soon as possible. Cosmic Insight is actually interchangeable with Approach Velocity, since Smite Charges are not as important anymore after Season 13, so either is a safe bet. Conditioning and Unflinching are to help propel the tank fantasy, and your tertiary runes will match with attack speed into double defensive runes. Items are pretty flexible. I usually like to rush an item that will counter the enemy's mid-jungle. For example, rushing Force of Nature against a mid-jungle like Silas Aesol is really strong, whereas rushing Thornmail into Master Yi Zed would be good. One great facet of Orn's itemization is that Radiant Virtue builds out of Aegis of the Legion, which has both a Cloth Armor and a Null Magic Mantle. Radiant will end up being your Mythic, but since you can buy either the Cloth Armor or Null Magic Mantle out of your first clear, you have some time and flexibility when deciding what you want to build and in what order. Most tank items happen to have a place on Orn Jungle. Sunfire can be good for increased clear speed and damage. Frozen Heart is strong if you want to catch sideways later on. Randuins is good for pure damage reduction against auto attackers. Warmogs can be good if you literally never want to back ever. Other than Radiant Virtue, the only item you'll be going almost every game is Ionian Boots. Ionian Boots are not only great in the jungle, but are also great on Orn for the CDR since all of his abilities have somewhat high cooldowns and forms of CC. For jungle pet, I personally prefer to go blue pet, but green pet can be strong into high CC comps. That's everything I have for you for Orn Jungle. Hopefully some of the skeptics now understand why I've placed him in Z tier on the off meta jungle tier list. I stream on Twitch sometimes and also have a Discord server, links to both will be in the description. I also have a Ko-fi page for donations, and any tips are highly appreciated. Bye!